let's open a Upcrate Art Supplies subscription box. This is number 32. Let's go. So let's just open this up. Message to myself, have fun. Nice. Okay, this is what you get. I'm always wary of these boxes because I always think like, I hope I like the art supplies inside, but I always think that it is a good like exercise in creativity either way. Oh my god. This this looks cool. A giant acrylic paint marker. This is looking pretty epic to me. <laughs> and intimidating. Uh, so we've got a load of paint markers here, which I really like, because I really like paint markers. So here we go. We've got a small pink one, a small white one, two medium, uh, blue and green, and then a big, is it black? Yeah, a black and a, and a pastel yellow. These look nice. Uh, I don't know what to do with them uh, at all, so we can figure something out and just a really like pencil which is not that interesting <laughs> but I don't know why maybe they feel like you should have a pencil in there but yeah that's everything so let's see markers galore it's kind of interesting I would never have picked up like a big marker like that so let's see what we can create um so basically these boxes are kind of based on what these artists inside do and these are the artists how they've used these paints which is interesting because i'm totally stuck <laughs> i think they give you a paper as well which is oh yeah look okay so you've got an acrylic you have eight acrylic and oil artist pad i don't know why i said eight eight papers let's test out these these paints then i guess these are some cool stickers that come with it that the artist has created. I think I like this make art not war like see-through stickers. That's nice. Uh, where am I gonna put this? Mm. So let's test out these colours first before I figure out what to draw. Uh oh no. Can you twist them? These ones I'm really excited about, these massive ones. Oh my god, I hate opening things. <laughs> I hate opening things so much. I don't work on these ones. I've never used this brand before, I don't think. So it's interesting to see how they compare to Oscars. I'm so filming. Alright. Alright, love ya. Yeah. Quick snack. What snack are you having? What? You said quick snack. Yeah. What snack? Oh. I want snack. What is this? How can I, how can I even open that? This is driving me mad. And it's ruining my nails. Not that they were good anyway, but you know. Oh my God. Why do they make the packaging so impossible to open? Like did, they were like, oh, let's put this perforated plastic on it. But then they don't even like, actually, I don't, do they actually test this? Do they actually think this works? It doesn't ever come off correctly. And I'm having a meltdown. <laughs> shortly be back with the regular scheduled viewing honestly honestly that's as good as it's gonna get the lid opens i'm leaving the rest of the plastic on that was a struggle that took me like 10 minutes to get to that does anybody else have these struggles or am i just weird please let me know please let me have no more issues opening these damn pens oh i'm angry now <laughs> seriously does anyone else have these issues i feel like i'm doing it completely wrong there we go there we go Thank God, that one was a clean sweep. Thank you, a small one. Can you just please perforated edges be perf- Just do your thing and perforate, okay? Oh, thank God. Ooh, that one's good. Okay. <sighs> and breathe. All my nail varnish is chipped off. Okay, so uh, these are like some really interesting colors. Um, I want to test them out. Ooh, I like this blue. This is nice. It goes down quite nicely as well. That is a nice, that is a nice color. <clears throat> My nemesis. And I want to think, I was really excited about you, pink. Oh my God, come on. Oh, 
thank you. Sheesh. This guy is making me work for the pink. Come on. You do this to me. Why would you betray me so pink? Honestly, 5,000 years later. Come on. I just want to use your pink. Why are you making it so difficult? Okay. Well. <clears throat> Why is this video filled with so much rage, you ask? Don't know. But yeah, here's the pink. It is a little bit less juicy, as you can see. I'm not sure if that's just, you know, it needs to come out of its shell a little bit more, but we'll see. Now for the green. Light green. What do they even call this colour, actually? Pastel green, which, you know, I like pastels. What is with this? Because that blue one came out so quick there we go nice yeah this one's super juicy as well um so i'm not sure if it's just the uh and they layer very nicely that's nice it's just the pink giving me struggle it's hurtful pink that's all i'm gonna say it's hurtful the white which you can never tell <laughs> if the ink has gone into it I'm just gonna shake it a bit quite opaque very fine line which is nice to see we love a a, a, a thin liner and this one is a thick black uh, so I don't know why they would give you a thick black and not like I would have preferred to get I know that's the point like you're supposed to use the art supplies that I, probably not how you would always use them but I would have preferred to get like the black Ooh, that's nice though. Hmm, I like that. That was that was exciting and fun. <laughs> I would have preferred the blue to be the size of the black. Well, I don't know. This is pretty fun though. I'm enjoying this. It's not super opaque either. It's kind of like a grey. Maybe you could just. I probably shouldn't fill up the whole paper with just a black. But yeah, that's fun. I like this. I like this a lot. And then this one is weird because it's got like a double edge. Double edge. And it feels like it's not li as liquidy. It feels because not explaining myself correctly. These are like hard shells and then this is like a squishy one, which is weird. Oh my God, what's happening? Oh, you have to twist it. Okay. Eh? Uh? Oh, I don't think I was supposed to <laughs> twist it. Uh, maybe I should read the instructions, one second. So supposedly you just pull the ends off these and it comes with a really weird nib. It's not the same as the other ones. Come on, Chris. The rage, the rage. Um, it's not the same as the other ones. It has like a weird paint, like dispenser. So it's like more like thick paint rather than, um, Pen, if that makes sense. I don't know if I explained that very well. Interesting though, I don't get the yellow. So it has like a thin one as well. You can do little darts, very interesting. The bowy, I don't know, it's kind of difficult con to control. It's coming off really gloopy, which is, I'm trying to think what I can make with this. Um, yeah, we'll see because that is interesting. Let's go. They told me to have fun with this, so boy did I. I really enjoyed using these pens in the end. I was really intimidated by these big, thick ones, but then once I figured out what I wanted to draw, it all came together and actually this black pen being so big was actually really handy. If you can tell what I'm drawing just by this silhouette, then you are a epic painter you are an art historian <laughs> you know that i am drawing or painting draw painting what is it a uh, girl with a pearl earring and i really like this painting i really like that film too if you guys seen that with scarlett johansson very good muy bien uh yeah i had a lot of fun with these pens i just outlined with the pens themselves i didn't use pencil because with these pens you can just go over them, you can make mistakes, you can correct them later with the opacity of these pens are so good you can just bam right over that mistake and I really love doing stuff like that because I just try to like feel out what the image will be.
and I think it has a lot more personality that way I think you just yeah it is just go with the flow with what you're painting and I think it helps I also I feel like whenever I do a pencil drawing it just disappears anyway so I feel like it's a wasted effort I'm too lazy for that so I've gotten used to draw like going ahead painting draw painting without any uh, underlying pencil marks most of the time and I find that really useful I guess I'm just used to it now because some people always say like oh how does how do you do that where you just go straight ahead without any pencil I'm just used to it and also, it helps to be copying something, which I'm doing here. I am copying an original masterpiece painting, so it's not like I can take credit for having this image and just going for it, you know. Anyway, I had a lot of fun with the textures and messing around and pushing paint around. I used a paintbrush, which was quite fun. And yeah, it was great because it was like a limited colour palette and a limited art supply use so it really the constraints me really made me creative be more creative and i really enjoyed it i uh, hope you guys like this painting And that is it. I feel like if I keep going, I'm going to ruin it because I kind of like the roughness of it, the kind of unfinished quality and the texture of the paints. I really wanted to use textures in this because of this like weird gloopy pen. And then I also did use a paintbrush to push around some of the colours because I just think it is easier to maybe blend them a little bit but let me know what you guys think actually I had a lot of fun with this so definitely would not have picked up like these big uh, pens so it's really interesting to have constraints on things like I said in the video so it just makes everything more fun and uh, just something outside of the box to do so let me know what you guys think and if you like this video please give me a thumbs up it's my birthday tomorrow so uh, share this video for me to get an extra good birthday <laughs> doesn't make sense that was rubbish uh ignore me but thanks for watching hope to see you guys next time and yeah have a good day bye